So I recently got a new business in Italy, which I have to say that Microsoft you can really do a good job in delivering it way more successfully to most laptops. So the fingerprint caching still works. It was a good deal, but uh, my starting experience wasn't that great. Initially, the fingerprint just stopped working. I wasn't able to even use the fingerprint scanner for a while. It just said that it does not support Windows 10 devices. And then a few updates came up and things started to get better. This looks better. So I had to update the MySUS app, which takes a lot of time to update. Open up right now. this and if you go into the settings menu and it's so after installing windows 11 and that was done on this first of november i have updated thrice these three updates since then only windows has become better some bit before that was like really poor so let's get into the see what's new section so see what's new in windows 11 so what you can do is everything you care about with one screen. It basically says that includes touch and all the key things. So then again, like it's Windows 11 in the back end and just a new interface for it. So when I started, the taskbar was in the center. Taskbar was in the center and I'm not really a fan of this option. I really like to press just go into the corner and click, go into the corner and click for desktop and go into the corner and click for start menu. I can just do that without even looking at the screen. So that is what I like. So I just simply changed it down to the left side as I usually like it. This is better for me. Uh, maybe if I use it in the center, I might grow accustomed to it, but I just prefer going to the corner and just corner and down, corner and start. That is what I prefer. So, first things first, um, once you open it, you get a new taskbar, a new start menu. So, you have your pinned apps here. All apps to check out all your apps. Go back to the news list. This used to be, I think, better in Windows 10 because I like the whole huge interface and click on the large tiles. I'm not really a fan of this, but maybe I'll grow used to it eventually. Not now, right now. Earlier, what used to happen was so I simply so there are two three things which are simply not working here windows could have had a better experience i'll start with the basics so now the taskbar is new so in the taskbar earlier what i used to do is I used to have the expanded option because i used to open multiple explorer and multiple excel sheets and multiple word accounts separately so everything used to show up separately here but now everything gets clubbed so if i open one excel sheet let's say this one Here and one blank page, and then open up another Excel sheet. Which is here. What you'll see is I'll have to select from here, but earlier it used to just get an expanded view, so all of this space is getting just being empty, which I really like in Windows 10. So I had like really quick access to all of those things. So another thing is. Uh, the calendar has been changed so you can just make it small or bigger you get your notifications here which is looks good looks better than windows 10 certainly but then again i'm not really grown used to windows 11 till now 
this I feel is like really organized. Let me change my brightness very easily and change my volume. That's my volume. And I can switch on battery saver, switch on battery saver, focus is blue, visibility log setting. And this is edit quick settings. I can edit with this. Now it's something here. That's nice. And this one. I can this one. Word important. That's good. And you can access your stuff, complete settings here. So the whole settings menu has also been redefined. Earlier it used to be big icons in the center for Windows 10. But now it's suddenly like everything has been clubbed under it. So whenever you install Windows 11, just keep on updating it as much as you want because it still has a lot of effects. So let me check the updates. So I got one BIOS update in this one as well. And let me tell you, BIOS updates are really scary. But I think that's a must. So another issue that I'm facing is uh, whenever I go to see. This feature is like really nice. You can club windows together and separate options for the club over here. You can use Excel sheet here and you can do my stuff together. That's really nice. But then again, that feature is a hit and miss. In Edge, it works fine. In Excel sheet, it works fine. Let's try in Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, it works fine. But open WhatsApp, you'll see it doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. So, like, it's still a lot of hits and misses. So you have to go again and wait, and just hope that it might work. It might not work. Then I don't like that. Sorry, sorry, Microsoft, but I don't like that. Uh, another problem that I'm facing is like, I have this mail. So let's see, I want to drag and drop this file into mail. I go here, it goes like that's not possible. Like crazy. I go here, that's not possible. Why? Why the drag and drop is not working? What is wrong with you, Microsoft? How can I work without a drag and drop? So basically, what I have to do is I have to open this in half. Now take this and drop it here. Take this and drop it here. But if I go like here, it doesn't work. You go to WhatsApp, it doesn't work. How stupid is it, Microsoft? Can you please make drag and drop work? Like, that's the lifeblood of my work. You cannot function without drag and drop. That's just plain stupid. So, another funny thing is let's try taking a screenshot. So, you click on the screen tool and you click on new and suddenly what Microsoft asks is this app cannot open problem with windows is a problem with windows is preventing screen snipping from opening refreshing your pc might help fix this problem so you can copy this to clipboard yeah clipboard which is useless so click on refresh and you choose here so what it shows you let's try resetting your pc so what does resetting your pc means Remove apps and settings, but keep your personal files. So basically, everything that I've installed, like all these softwares that I've installed, I would have to reinstall them again. What is the point of saying that it'll be a seamless transition? Why are you trying to fool us, Microsoft? Why it can't be a seamless transition? That is fucking idiotic. Why can't you do that for us for once? The rest, everything else works fine, but the transitions are never smooth. Then again, Microsoft has always been like Windows XP. Oh, sorry, Windows 98 was great. 2000 was a bar. XP was great. Vista was shit. 7 was great. 8 was shit. Windows 10 was great. Windows 11 is somewhere in between because like it's basically Windows 10 underneath with just some cosmetic changes here. So everything else works fine. So the search works good. Oh, I'll show you here. So this works better. Asus, not really. Uh, I'm searching for Asus. Why is it not showing me my Asus? So the search isn't that great. It's my Asus right here. 
and do I need to write map Asus for you to search it? Oh, how fucking stupid are you? I can't you just search it by Asus. Now, the Armory Crate also functions fine. That is there, but I had to update this multiple times. So, you know, multiple updates available. So I have to keep on updating this. So, right now it's not perfect. Windows 11 is simply not perfect, and Microsoft is just trying to protect it. Uh, another thing is like you get the update and you install it, but I'll suggest you to wait for a while. It's really not that awesome right now. It will take some time to get better. Some cosmetic features might be good, but I'm not really a huge fan. So uh, one more thing is like these icons are there. So earlier it used to be like a huge section here, so you can see everything very clearly. But right now, all these colors are really dimmed. Click on new and get these options there. But copy paste is all symbolic, but it used to be bigger options here. And the view option is also nice. Might be a cleaner user interface, but earlier one I found it like easier to use because everything was really big on top. It's like really small options and everything is hidden under multiple options and everything is being clubbed. So that is okay, okay, but not as awesome as it could have possibly been. I really still like Windows 10 and I think like I made a mistake updating it. So uh, one more thing is that it does give you the option to go back. So what you can do is you can go here. Sorry. Uh, it does give you the option to go back back to windows 10 you can't go back and back to your plug and then and try it. so it does give you the option to go black but i'm not really sure whether it will be a very seamless transition back to windows 10 or it's gonna be another major hassle for me to get to all of these things and let's get into the settings now so now all the settings have been clubbed here so the display is one single setting you can change a lot of different things hdr This is okay. Um, it used to be there earlier as well. And display navigation, HDR video. And display resolution is that is the resolution of my this one. Orientation, scale, everything else is as it is. It should be. And like nothing really crazy about it. Like everything has been clapped under certain things. Now the mouse. A lot of things with the mouse are here. Uh, let's try and find. Oh, we're back to Windows 10. See? It's still not completely done. Still options open under Windows 10. And that problem has always been there. So pointers are here and the mouse. Still, it's not 100% done and then thought out thing. A lot of problems will still pop up. Personalization apparently they have given you so many colors to choose from, but I really do not care about the colors. That's the last thing I'm concerned about. I'm trying to use my windows throughout my day for my work. And there are certain features I'm really missing from Windows 10, which are not there in Windows 11, and I would really appreciate if they were there. I'm not able to grow used to them. So another problem that I'm facing is 